You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Live from the 15 Minutes of Fame Studios, 39th and Broadway, in the heart of Bayonne, New Jersey, because we couldn't afford a spot in Manhattan. Welcome to the Shut Up and Talk Show. Give it up for your host, me, motherfuckers. Let's go. Hey, yo, man. 15 minutes of fame. Uncle Ross, Shut Up and Talk Show. We're here, man. I got Tom Beasley. Time it, I got be It's Ferrari time. It's Maserati time. You ain't think I was gonna say that? Oh my god. <laughs> no, what time of night is it, man? Ah, shit, man. It's almost just like twelve thirty. I was in. The, I, I was out. Twelve thirty. I said, Yo, Unc, I'm out here, man. I can make life easy. I just come through. Just pop up. So Made my here. day because I was gonna come see you tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Why not, man? We already in the town, so might as well stop through, man. Shout Plus, out to Bees for pulling up. I haven't been in this format lately. It's nice and clean and air conditioned. This is you haven't been special. here at all. I've been in this building, but you haven't been in this. No, room. I haven't been in this room. Monk has secret rooms in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I finally passed the challenge. I'm able to come into the you. you special your room. status is up there now. Yeah, I appreciate so now it. you're allowed in here. So, what's up, man? How you been, man? You good? Uh, man, I've been great, man. Just a lot of work right now. This year, it's crazy, you know. And, the, you know, with the COVID and everything, things kind of slowed down. You know what I mean? For a little while. Because I was supposed to be way, we were supposed to be way ahead of where, we're, where we've been right now. But, well, you know. Would we have been at Summer Madness by now? We'd have been over with Summer over Madness. Over with Summer Madness. Yeah, Damn. the way that we had it planned, we'd have been over with Summer Madness. We'd have been <laughs> on to, like, some other events already. But we're still going to try to squeeze COVID, those events man. in. Fucked up the whole flow. Tough thing, man. But but we got Gnome at least, right? You know we. Yes, we're pressing forward with Gnome. Real man. quick, so pressing forward with Gnome, possibility for Summer Madness before the year is out? Yes. Okay, all right. Summer Madness is going to happen. Right. Not yes. in uh, December like it did no. that last time? No, it'll be in the summer. We're pressing <laughs> forward. Hey, man, we do what we can. Unk. Sometimes things don't go according to plan, Facts. but we do what we can. You and know? you always pick up in a... Uh, Get back to yes, we do. We get to back our regular to business, scheduled man. program. So we definitely do. So, so let's talk about Gnome, man. Um, first off, with Gnome, um, it's in L.A. Yes. Um, small room. Yes. Talk about how many people are allowed, right, to be okay. in the building. Well, every city has its own laws and regulations, right? L.A. County presently is allowing film and media twenty-four people total in the building film and media or yeah. everybody meaning film and media companies mm -hmm. if they're shooting something they're allowed to have 24 people that's okay. the number now initially when we you know signed up to do it in LA we figured that LA would be recovering at a quicker rate and the numbers would increase possibly to 50 to 100 people you know we always knew that it was going to be small just based on what we're dealing with with right. COVID-19 but um, unfortunately the numbers are not rising in terms of capacity in the building so you know we got to roll with what's given to us and make the best out of what we have um luckily we have a, a new format you know what i'm saying that people are, are are used to seeing with um ultimate badness where it is like the one-on-one -on -one thing and you know we darken the room and really make it intimate so Which that you get a feel looking so fire thank you appreciate it so i mean if we have to revert to that style of shooting for this event we will but it will be an elevated version of that mm. at the worst case scenario um we're also exploring the idea of having the mcs who are performing along with their one guest be their audience in the background to kind of give it the feel of a gnome or you know of a small room or volume series type of event we're hoping to do that you know what i mean that's another option so we just really have to play with the camera work to see what's going to look the best but we do have a nice a nice setup great camera work great things to come and so it's going to look you know it's going to look amazing so mcs one guest yes. so every mc First time can bring ever. one person one guest Okay. And I say this to everybody, like, if you're, you know, if you're thinking about coming, Just I tell hear it a lot to of, them. Listen, <laughs> if you plan on attending 
Gnome 10, please do not stay at home. That means everybody, including you. If you're watching this and you're not a competitor that night, do not come to Gnome. Even if you battle for URL, even if you're a close family and friend who usually attends our private events that we close off to the public, if you haven't been contacted already to attend Gnome and you have that solidified spot, do not come. You know what I mean? Um, based on what's going on in LA and with COVID, there's certain regulations that we have to abide by in order to be able to operate. And um, when we, we have all the proper permits to shoot and we've gone through all the legal procedures in order to operate. One of the things that comes with that though is a COVID officer who's on set and that COVID officer is there to enforce the law to make sure that the numbers in the building are, 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 are the right amount of people and they can shut down the event at any given time. So if people come up or start to congregate outside the event in hopes of getting in or making a phone call or asking, can I get them in? We can't. Also in addition to that, we are doing COVID tests prior to the event. So everybody that enters the building from judges, from camera crews, competitors, even the plus ones, they're all getting rapid COVID testing the day before the event. So that way we'll have the results. And should something happen, we'll postpone the battle. You know what I'm saying? Until another time. So if one of the, one of the battlers show up and he, he – because that test is – um, I talked to you, that test is that day. We Right. Because most places you get the, the results a couple Five of days, days. later. Right. right. So this is a, like a special test. Right. Well, what we're doing is we're taking a page out of UFC's book. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't know how many people are fans of the UFC. Of course, you know that I am. And, um, you know, they've been doing this fight island type of scenario. And they've been having small events without an audience where they're doing like this extreme COVID-19 tests and they've been allowed to operate. So far, they've put on about five or six shows, upwards of 60, 70 fights. Um, there's been two instances where people have tested. One was with, um, you can look these up, one was with Uriah Hall and Jacare mm -hmm. from Brazil. Jacare tested positive, so they have postponed the fight. And I guess once he is cleared, you know, to go back in, you know, have a fight, because, you know, it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not be like, belittling COVID in any way or saying that it's no big deal because it is because there's been a lot of things that have happened however you know there has to be safety but for the most part all they're doing is postponing those particular fights if some if a fighter tests positive they postpone the matchup when they retest him and he's clear to fight then they put the match back on but this weekend coming up they have a big event also and they had a welterweight fight coming up so there's this guy named Gilbert Burns who fought like a month ago he did really well so he had the opportunity to come in and fight the current welterweight champion, which is uh, Usman. So they tested him prior I'm to the fight. Crazy too, yeah. Just for the Usman Shit. and they um they tested Gilbert Burns, and Gilbert Burns turned up with COVID-19. So the fight has been postponed, and you know that when he clears, when he tests positive, you know when he tests clear again, when his tests come back right, he'll be able to fight at that time. And it's it's actually a great way because they're taking the precautions to eliminate any positive, any uh, possible um, threat or risk or danger to other people. So, I mean, it's going to happen. You know, this is happening in the NBA. It's happened to actors, Tom Hanks, Idris Elba. You know, it doesn't matter what class you're in, how you're living, mm -hmm. how much money you make, economic status. It's a real thing. It's out there. And we have to take the necessary precautions. So we're doing that. You know, we're following the UFC's lead and we're taking these rapid COVID tests and, you know, we'll see what happens. And if, you know, some fights get postponed or some of the battles rather get postponed, then we'll just make them up once the two competitors test clear. You know what I mean? But until, until that happens, this is the only way that we can safely continue to operate. You know what I mean? And UFC has used this model and they've been successful. They've had two fighters test so far where, you know, they were able to capture, you know, these, you know, the, the threat before it actually right, went into right, a building. Right. Which is which is beautiful. We need right. that. Even me as a judge, you know, going over there, you know, mm -hmm. to know that it literally just made me feel a little bit better knowing, you know, that I'm going to be in the building and I know I'm getting tested before mm -hmm. I go in. And if if I fail, then I can't go in right. the building. Right. So and then, then the whole event's going to be fucked up if I'm not you'll, there. <laughs> you'll wait 14 days. <laughs> 
your quarantine, your test again, you'll be clear and you'll be the judge at the next event. It's not, you know what I mean? Um, also, the, and that's another reason why I don't want people to show up because you cannot enter the building without the test. The COVID officer is there to enforce that. So, what if I show up to the event with my own test and no. say, "Look, I'm, I'm, we're, we're I'm clear. We're, we're conducting the tests." You know what I mean? And um, that's the that's the power of having a great a great partner like Caffeine because they can help implement these type of rapid tests that a lot of people aren't privy to, we're able to utilize this and we're able to follow the format of big sports companies like the UFC. Mm. And ultimately the goal is to build battle rap to be on that type of a level. So we're taking those types of precautions. So what if I show up, say, Bees, it's me, Uncle Rock, come on, I've been uh, just let them test me and I'll come in. Just have them give me a test. Why, why can't I do um, that? Because those tests are expensive. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not regular tests. And I'm trying to cover the angles that you know right, will right, happen. Right, right, right. These are expensive <laughs> You know how tests, this goes. And everybody who is going to be coming through has already been earmarked for the test. You understand? So there's only a certain amount of tests that can be provided. And that's going to cover the battler. That's going to cover one of his guests. That's going to cover the camera crew, staff, and anybody else who is entering that building. So that's just what it is for now. You know, and uh, we're going to definitely make the best of it. But it's either we sit on our hands and do nothing or we continue to push forward and keep battle rap moving. You know what I mean? Even the NBA right now, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but they're actually talking about utilizing one building for the NBA. And this one building will be a COVID free environment that they'll do all the NBA games in and everybody will get tested before coming into the building. So, you know. Our, our goal has always been to elevate battle rap. That's why we always were the first guys going into the big buildings, doing the large events. And now we're trying to be on par with all the major sports leagues because we look at battle rap as a sport. So in order to do that, you have to take the same level of precaution when approaching an event. Keep talking. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Unc, Unc is behind the scenes checking out the cameras, making sure we're good over here. Well, yeah, ultimately that's what it is. So I'm just urging everybody, please stay home. It is free. The event is totally free. You can see it live on Caffeine at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Watch it. You know, you don't, it's of no charge. You want to see the VOD? You want to watch it over again? It's real simple. Instead of paying $55, you know, for the way that we did our events traditionally through pay-per-view this year we're taking a we're stepping away from that model for a while and we're utilizing caffeine to stream the events live and if you want to see the vod now all you gotta do is pay 7.99 and not only do you get the vod you get to see all the sterilized events the rooftop joints you know all the other events that haven't been on youtube like um volume five and just mad stuff on there. Born legacies, dope battles that have never been released online. They're all on the app. So you get to see the VOD of the bat of, of Gnome 10, as well as all those other battles. You get to see the Twerk and Danny battle that everybody's talking about, the B Dot and Saga battle that everybody's talking about. It all lives on the app and it's only $7.99. So we're trying to slowly reduce the charge to the consumer in an attempt to bring more people in so that they can see battle rap for free and they can see and more content yeah they too, can get so, more, yeah. We're, we're pushing out more content even during these difficult times we're still pushing out a lot of content we got ultimate madness 2 coming up july 25th that'll be free for you guys to see and if you didn't see ultimate madness 1 you can go on the url tv app right now and all the battles are there for free well that for free for 7.99 <laughs> and that 7.99 is inclusive of everything that you're going to see for gnome 10 but I mean, it's practically free in comparison to paying a $55 pay-per-view. Right. Know? So we're just working, man. And but, but again, I stress everybody to stay home. It's free. You can see the battles live. You know, we will get back to a time where people can come into the building and there could be crowds and cheering and jumping around on stage. But this is not happening in any sport. There's no basketball. There's no baseball. You know, and tons of athletes are testing positive for COVID right now. So, you know, they're just trying to figure a way to balance things out to make it work. And it's, it's going to affect everybody. You know what I'm saying? From actors, entertainers, the everyday common people. It's already affecting everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, we got to take the precautions and we got to move. So it's either this way or nothing at all.
you know so we we under, we, we appreciate everybody for understanding and it's going to be dope we're going to make it look good i mean people enjoyed ultimate madness you know what i mean so we're going to make sure that gnome is on that level too and uh time and date for gnome gnome is saturday july the 11th at 5 p.m eastern standard time live on caffeine it airs one time it's like a sporting event mm -hmm. there's not going to be a repeat there's no vod the vod is on the url tv app so make sure you get that and you'll get all the other battles that you haven't seen as well as all the other marquee events that we've done that are not on youtube they're on the url tv app there's hundreds of battles on there and gnome is free all you need is the caffeine app you Right, you get the caffeine app, you follow URL TV, you tune in to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and the event is free. You know, and if some, should something happen, Lord forbid, you know, a battle's postponed or something happens, the greatest thing about all of it is it's free. There's no disappointment here. You know, there's some disappointment, but it's free. You know what I'm saying? So I got one more question. Yeah. What if I want to come to the event? I'm sorry, Uncle Ra. You cannot go. Well, you can go because you're a judge. I'm not. You're going to be. Tested. I'm just asking the, 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 the average person. Listen, yes. if you're a battler, and we we love everybody, we respect everybody, and we appreciate everybody, but you cannot attend this event if you have not been contacted with a time and for your um, particular testing. You know what I mean? Your COVID test. You're already not going to be able to do it. They're just not going to allow us to do it. You know, it's just the stringent conditions that we're working under in order to complete the objective so right now we have to stick with what la county has implemented and we have to follow those rules please do not come through we under you know no matter what if you battle for us last week it's not us it's not that type of thing it's just about us making sure that everybody can be tested and get the test results back in enough time you know, so that we can make sure that the environment is as safe as possible. So please, again, do not come to Nome. Stay home and watch it. Have a fight party with your friends. Get your HDMI cables, hook them into your laptop, plug them into your flat screen. Watch the battles for free and enjoy it. And then when you want to see them over again, get the URL TV app, just $7.99 instead of $55 for a whole big pay-per-view. And now you can watch all the battles on there. This is Uncle Ra, and I approve this message. Let's go!